Hello, this is Patreon the Dark. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to check out the CZ75D Compact. We're going to do a descriptive overview and we're going to see if there's any difference between the 75D Compact and the 75D PCR Compact. And why does CZ make it so hard to find out? So, let's check it out. <laughs> All right, so we have the CZ-75D Compact. Now, I wasn't really familiar with this firearm. I know about the 75 series being 9mm hammer-fired and, and such, but this was actually a purchase that I was actually buying another firearm, and they kind of jumped me in line and said, hey, check this one out. So first thing I noticed, because they didn't tell me what it was, and I'm blind, so I couldn't really tell, uh, was the the distinctive slide I could tell it was a CZ so from that point um, I didn't know anything about the compact besides obviously the size or whatever but uh, so when I came home I actually had to look into it and that was where my adventure started so we're gonna clear this stuff out of here and clear the firearm drop the mag it's empty it's clear Actually, let me start that again. All right, so the CZ75D Compact. When I came home, I tried to do a search on uh, this firearm, and the only thing that would come up is the 75D PCR Compact. And the difference between the 75 Compact, which is uh, has a steel frame, um, the PCR has an uh, aluminum alloy, I believe it's a 7075T6 aluminum uh, frame, so it's a lot lighter. Um, all the specs for all three firearms, the 75 Compact, 75D Compact, and the 75D PCR Compact are in the description. As in all the videos, I try to load up that description with all the extra info that I'm going to probably forget. So the... This firearm, I didn't know what it was. I mean, I could tell it was a lot lighter than, you know, obviously the full size, which is all steel. Uh, so being on a mission to find out the information and the specs for this specific firearm, you know, I did all of the internet searches. And depending on what site you went to, uh, there was all sorts of things that were conflicting in that. So I actually went to the CZ USA site and then again, the only thing that was listed was the PCR. Now, PCR stands for the Police Czech Republic, which this size pistol, that's what the, they initially designed it for the police over there in the Czech Republic. Um, there was nothing on the 75D Compact uh, standalone. So I actually ended up calling them and spoke with a very nice young lady, and she did some legwork, tracked down the information, and what she told me was... Basically, the 75D Compact is no longer being made, right? But that and the difference between it and the PCR is minimal because they're basically the same firearm. The internals are all the same. The dimensions, all that kind of stuff are the same. Um, she said with the PCR version, uh, there is there may be some differences with the sights, uh, the loaded chamber indicator, and then obviously the stampings on the side are going to be different because it's uh, etched PCR. Uh, the reason she said that that happens is CZ has markets all over the world, and depending on you know the the need for a firearm in a different region, they'll you know move them around. So you'll get something that might have been uh, designed for a different area or something. So uh, basically, they're the exact same pistol. Uh, the 75D Compact and the PCR compact are both hammer fired uh, decock only firearm uh, designated by the D in the 75D is uh, there is no manual safety on this you do have a firing pin block on the hammer and you also have the loaded indicator they des designate that as a safety as well um, and we'll get into that as we describe uh, the firearm now the 75D uh, compact and the PCR compact both have the uh, aluminum alloy frame, and so they are a little bit lighter. It has a 3.75 inch barrel, and it also has the rubber grips, which the 75 Compact um, has the plastic style grips, I believe. 
Um, this only comes in black uh, because, well, good guys wear black, and that's all I'm going to buy anyways. But um, we're actually going to turn this around. Um, I believe I've already safety checked it, but we'll do it again, right? Because I don't know if I'm going to add that in the video. So now the firearm is sitting with the muzzle facing to the left, all right? And we're going to kind of look at this. The, the slide is very distinctive on this firearm. Since the slide is on the inside of the frame, the frame, actually if I turn it up, um, does stick out a little bit more uh, than normal. But what happens is the purchase area of this slide is very small. It's, it's uh, narrow in height as far as from the edge of the frame to the top of the slide. So when I grab it, it's about uh, half the width of my thumb as far as where you're actually going to get a purchase on it. It does work very well, so it's not a problem. But what that adds is since the, the slide is lower, um, it lowers the, the bore axis um, closer to in line with the shooter's arm. And so having that will also make it a soft shooter. So starting at the top, we have uh, snag-free fixed sights, right? And with the difference between the 75D compact and the PCR, um, they, there may be a different si uh, style sight. Um, I believe there's supposed to be a three dot, which sights are just a fad. I, for blind guys, I don't use them things. But if you do use them, they are there, all right? Um, going across the bottom of the frame, starting at the left side, um, halfway up the, uh, the, the frame, not the slain, um, you do have your slide lock, all right? Um, just behind that, you do have your decocker arm. Now, on the 75 compact, I believe that has a safety, but since this is the D version, this is a decocker only. Um, the decocker, the pivot is in the front, um, and the, the decocker lever uh, faces to the rear, and what you do is at when the firearm is fully cocked, if you depress it down clockwise, it'll click. And as that rides back up counterclockwise, it drops your hammer to the uh, half cock position. And that is supposed to be a skeletonized hammer as well, which usually I forget to tell you that. Um, like I said, all the specs are in the description if I do miss it. Um, but keep going. Um, on the the trigger guard on the front, you, you have front striations, striations. Um, on the slide, you do have front and back, front and rear uh, serrations too. And we'll get into that when we go to the notches. But uh, where the trigger guard meets up with your grip on the left side is your mag release. It's a nice size. Um, it's easy to push. All right. um, the rubber grips are very very nice they're not you know I'm, I'm used to using some aluminum or wood but the grip on this is is uh, pretty sweet right now this does come in uh, a, a neutered version uh, 10 round mags if that's what's required in your area um, I have the 15 plus one mag um, I came with two of them so that's that the front front strap is uh, has a little bit of serrations going up and down and then you also have that on the back back strap right and I don't know if the magwell is actually flared or not it has a little bit of a flare it's not not excessive but it is uh, pretty easy and the mags are double stack the other thing that is important to note on the left side of the firearm if you go to just behind your decocker lever, all right, where it's pointing uh, directly back, just behind that on the frame, there is a small notch. Now this is your lineup uh, for when you're trying to disassemble, which I do have the descriptive field strip uh, that is linked in the description as well. Uh, but there is a, a small, let me find it there, a small groove cut and it lines up with the slot that's on the slide. And we're going to pull this all the way back. On the slide, the corresponding hash mark is if you go right past, uh, just behind the rear serrations, you have a 
small groove, all right? And what you do if you're sighted, obviously it's easier to line that line up with that hash mark that's on the frame, all right? Um, what I found, which I'll, I'll give you a little quick cheat, if you decock the hammer to the half cock position and you slide the slide back and run the slide into the hammer, those pretty much line right up. So that is just kind of a quick little cheat instead of trying to do it with it fully cocked and you're trying to hold it. For me, I can kind of use my, my thumbnail to line both of those uh, hash marks up, but I find using the decock, uh, the half cock position easier for that. Um, so that is the CZ 75D compact as well as the 75D PCR compact. Uh, besides the obviously the uh, the different sites now the chamber indicator normally I would try to show you this but I don't know if they'll like me doing that on video but if you look at with the muzzle facing to the right um, where you have your ejection port just behind that across the top there is a small slot and when there is a, a round in the chamber there is a metal flag that sticks up. It's just basically a flat little square plate uh, that comes up and then obviously you can you can feel that that there is a round in the chamber because that little plate is up. All right. Now I don't know if it's colored or not but uh, which doesn't really make a difference to me but you would be able to feel that to know that there is a round in the chamber. So with that decock lever obviously when you rack in your first round it's in there then you would just decock, right? And so you have this on, basically it's a double action, single action. So at that point, um, you're safe because it is a, a, a good trigger pull, right? And so you would pull your trigger and it, as you're pulling back, it cocks your hammer and it's double action and it drops. Obviously the next one, when that puts the next round in there, it's gonna be single action. So that's pretty straightforward, but if you didn't know and this is in nine millimeter uh, normally I don't uh, go with the nine millimeters but hey that's what the CZ 75 D is so uh, I appreciate you checking it out make sure you look for the descriptive field strip of this firearm and there's also a whole playlist um, actually a couple playlists up to you know, probably over 80 different videos of uh, described visually impaired field strips so make it an outstanding day and never fear the dark.